Hi everyone, how are you all doing? Uh, I hope your weekend's good and, um, and that your weather's nice wherever you are. So, here I am today with an unboxing. And I'll get this open so that I can show it you without its, its bubble wrap sleeping bag. <clears throat> Sorry if, uh, if my voice keeps going a bit croaky. Um, it's from using it a lot on uh, work-related phone calls. That didn't quite come out right. Um, talking on the phone to people that are phoning me in my work. Right, okay. Anyway, here we are. We've got this month's box from Japan. And it's a, a really nice pretty one this this month a boxu with a, a design of cherry blossom let's open it up shall we okay here we go look celebrate hanami with this limited edition sakura boxu learn more at boxu.com slash hanami and we've got a booklet for Sakura Spring and uh, this time of year being um, when all the cherry trees are in blossom and it's a uh, sorry I'm trying to balance the box on my knee it's a it's a big thing big thing in Japan I'll tell you what move this keyboard out of the way and maybe can put the box on the desk in front of me and I don't have to worry about it falling on the floor then right so here we go this is what we've got underneath the booklet so I'll just get straight into it shall I I might try some of these I don't know I've just had something to eat not long ago uh, but we'll see okay so the first thing that we've got is the handmade Sakura candy, which is in this little bag here. And usually, uh, well, I say usually, every time, every time the handmade candy is, is, has been in one of the boxes, boxes I haven't been um, disappointed in it at all. And some of it, when I've put orders for things in that have been in, in past um box or boxes i have quite often put the candy in as well ordered the candy too because it's just so nice mm. that's nice it's so it tastes a little bit like strawberry milkshake if you could Describe a flavour as just really nice. This would be it. So, oh. this is made by Boxu with Daimonji. This handmade Sakura candy is made exclusively for Boxu. Like the Sakura that fades away at the end of the season, this candy dissolves lightly on the palate. Sweet and floral, the cherry blossoms are harvested and prepared by pickling and drying the flowers in salt, preserving the colour and flavour of Sakura. And I'm hoping you can see if I put this right up close, you see the, the little dark speckles that are in, in some of the sweets, like this one here. If I put my hand there, you can just about see it. Um, that's some of the preserved sakura flower. Yeah, it's just so nice. It's only small, but as a sweet, it's just so satisfying. I can't really, yeah, try it to believe it. Okay, so next up. 
We've got Umi Nochihari rice cracker mix. And I think this is this little fella. I could be wrong, but I think it's this one. I'm trying to make sure if I, that I'm getting it the right way up. I think it's that way round. What's that? And rice crackers. I absolutely love rice crackers. And this one. It says this sweet and savoury rice crack mix has three plum flavoured combos. Plum norimaki rolled in seaweed. Plum zaremi with sugar and plum with salt. Plum is the favourite spring flower in Japan and it perfectly complements savoury snacks like these light rice crackers. And that just, oops, yes, definitely. Okay, next up, try and make sure I get the right ones. We've got these three little fellas, and these are Sakura Chinsuko. And put two of them down. I'll show you that one. It's like a, a star shaped biscuit. And it says, This adorable Sakura Chins Chinsuko cookie is shaped, flavoured, and coloured like a Japanese cherry blossom. Chinsoko is a traditional cookie from Okinawa. It's similar in texture to a shortbread cookie and carries delicate flavours like Sakura well. The addition of real Sakura leaves enhances the light floral flavour of this pink cookie. I, looking at it like this, I would say it's more, more of a brownie colour than a pinky colour. What would you reckon? Right, next up. Make sure I get the right packet. I don't know if that is it or not. It's these, I think. Uh, no, maybe not. You know, I'm just going to go through it like this and just see what I can find. Okay. So, right, there's this one. And it's another one where there's three of it in the box okay and this is crepe coloré strawberry this fruity treat has a powerful strawberry aroma and deliciously sweet flavor the thin pink crepe is rolled into a tube and coated inside with strawberry infused white chocolate delicate and fragrant it's a perfect match for spring so yes that looks uh, looks like something really nice um Looking forward to having that one. Right, Let's see if I can find this fella that's that I've just pulled out there. Right, so this is Alpha Premium Rich Strawberry, and sometimes we get these boxes of biscuits in in the um, box of boxes, and they're lovely. They're just so nice, and it's it's something different. It it kind of breaks up the similarity that might sometimes be so for this it says sailing its way into your box and heart is the alpha premium strawberry chocolate the luxurious strawberry chocolate and soft chocolate biscuit combination is simply delicious this chocolate biscuit will have you wondering how does alpha do it and let's see if i can find this one Right, yes, I found it. So this is a Sakura Boucher. And that's what the packet looks like. And it just looks lovely, doesn't it? This one, it says a Boucher is a small pastry with a sweet filling. This cherry blossom pastry has a Sakura flower printed on the cakey buns. Inside is a sweet and soft cream infused with cherry juice for a fruity aroma in every bite. I'll show you what it looks like in, in the book because I think there's probably, oh, oh no, yeah, th I think there's only that one in the box unless there's one further down. That's how it looks. Now, you know, who could say no to that? Looks lovely, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Right, so next up, 
we've got. Oh, I don't know how many they are. I think it's four. Sakura Mochi. And that one's a, a little bit squished. Maybe, no. Ah, I know what's happened. Yeah. Sakura Mochi, there's three of them. And that's what that looks like. And it says, this Sakura infused mochi is a Japanese rice cake made by pounding steamed mochigomi, glutinous mochi rice. After being sweetened and flavoured, it's rolled in rice flour to keep it from sticking. Enjoy with a cup of tea for a perfect pairing. I'm just hoping I've not pulled the wrong one out there. I don't think I have. Anyway, let's give this one a try, shall we? Because, ooh, that smells lovely. I have to say, I've got a little bit of a thing for mochi as well. They're just nice. So nice. I mean, look at that. Watch this. Looks like a piece of Turkish delight, doesn't it? Look at that. Just, you know, how would you not want to put this in your mouth? This just, yeah. Mmm. Got a lovely soft, soft texture when you put it into your mouth. And it's just... The flavour... I'm not quite sure how I can describe the flavour. Um, if you've ever played with Play-Doh as a kid, can you remember how that smells? Well, that smell is very similar to the taste of this. It's no bad thing because it's not a horrible smell and it's not a nasty taste. It's, it's lovely. Just, I don't know, I'm not quite sure what I was expecting, but it's definitely nothing bad. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Now, got some Satsumache Sakura Sakura green tea in this little envelope, and it says this seasonally limited tea is only available for the spring. Ryokucha green tea from Kagoshima Prefecture is scented with Japanese sakura leaves for a floral fragrance over the fresh flavour of the tea. And then we get some brewing instructions there. And it's, I'll show you, it's quite a pale, a pale tea when it's made up. You know, this is not something that's meant to be like a cup of builder's tea. It's not going to go very strong looking. You don't make it with water that has just boiled. Um, you just leave it a little bit to uh, drop to about 90 degrees and then um, do it from there onward next up see if i can find this fella in the book right yeah so we've got sakura cake which is this one and with this it says this cake is flavored with real sakura flowers and if you're lucky, you may even find a whole blossom baked into your cake. Gentle in flavour, soft in texture, it truly reminds us of Japan's cherry blossom blooms. And yes, it's a, it's a very nice looking little cake from what I can see through the packet. Just makes you want to sit down with a cuppa, doesn't it? So, the next that we've got if I can find it right I'm gonna do this one um, unfortunately these have got a bit smashed up in the box uh, probably from juggling it around in the postal system and what have you but it's not they're not supposed to look like that I know that kind of looks a bit like a pink tortoise doesn't it um, that's what the other one looks like as well they both got smacked about a bit uh, this is Sakura Monaka and it's it says Monaka is a traditional Japanese sweet made from two mochi 
wafer, made from two mochi wafers that encase a filling, usually anko sweet red bean paste. For this seasonal treat, salted sakura adds a floral note to the earthy sweetness of the smooth anko filling. I'm gonna I'm gonna give one of these a try and see what they're like. Uh, don't remember having these before. I'm going to go for the most bashed up one, you know. See what it's like. See how it smells and tastes. It's very sticky. It doesn't smell of anything. That's weird. I mean, I, I, I'm not sure what I was expecting it to smell of, if it did smell of something. But it really doesn't smell of anything. There is no smell. The only thing I can smell is the hand cream on my hands. Which, I don't know. I guess it's no bad thing. But I'll try and get the majority. Oh, my mouth's watering. Of this off the wrapper. So that I can... It's very sticky, so I can tell you how it tastes. Even out the wrapper. No smell. And look, this is how close. I am, my nose is touching it and I can't smell a thing weird isn't it and i know i've not got a cold and i'm definitely not got covid <laughs> mm. oh it's nice it's very like a very thin soft wafer around the outside with like a a gummy jammy filling that's what it that's what it looks like in the middle anyway pretty much like what it looks like on the outside as soon as it got got bashed about but it's nice it's really really nice um i can't give the flavor a description because hmm, saying that it's like it's kind of like eating a, a date without the stone but with the sort of sugary skin coating taken off um, you know like the dates that you get in the long packets at Christmas is what I meant but yeah it's that kind of consistency and mm, I think that is something that I could probably sit and eat a full box of. Um, yeah, it's it's nice. It's really nice. Right. So next up, what we got here? Ah, I did see that one. Right. Yes. Okay. So here we have Sukiri Umi Sour Plum Arare Rice Cracker and there's three of them and it's got a really cute little packet well, let's have a try at this shall we Mm. As I said earlier, I love rice crackers. And this, this just smells nice. This is, I'm saying that of a lot of things, aren't I? It's just, it's got a flavour that you want to get into your gob. Really, really nice. Mm. Oh, You can actually taste the plum on this. Mm. Oh yes, very, mm -hmm, definitely. So here it says, "Sukiri" means refreshing in Japanese, and is a great word to describe the flavour of Japanese sour plum. Tart, salty, and a little floral. The sour plum powder adds bright touch to the savoury rice cracker and it's true it does it's really yes 
definitely very, very Moorish and definitely one that I could sit down with a big packet of and just carry on eating it until there's none left. Which, yeah, I know that's kind of the object with um, nice foods and nice snacks, but yeah, it's just so, so, so nice, so lovely. Right, so the next thing that I've got is some Super Mucho crisps. Oh, sorry, Super Mucho chips. Sour plum flavour. And this is this lovely big bag. And this is what it looks like on the back. And there's this strange, strange little character on it. I'm not. It's a bit weird. I don't know. Can you see that little fella there? Not quite sure which way round the head is meant to be on that. But yeah. So for these, it tells us these thin crispy potato chips are bursting with flavour. Like an ode to the Japanese plum tree, every bite carries the floral notes of plum blossoms. The soundness of umeboshi, pickled plum, and the earthiness of shiso, perilla leaves. So yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not going to open that right now. Uh, I'm going to eat that to myself later on off off camera i think so yeah uh if you want me to let you know what it's like later on you know just um i don't know drop a comment downstairs and i'll get back to you after i've eaten it so the last thing in this month's box is this and i've been trying to find it in the book and i couldn't see it now whether i've just gone straight over it or not i don't know Oh, here it is. So this is Puree Gummy Premium Mikan and Pink Grapefruit. It says Puree Gummy is always a treat, but this premium version has a jelly centre for a hint of luxury. The sweet and sour coating enhances the bright citrus flavours of Mikan, a Japanese citrus fruit and grapefruit. So, may as well give one of these a try as well, haven't I? smells absolutely gorgeous I could just sit here for an hour with my nose in this bag sniffing it because it's just it is so beautiful it's and it's the it's the pink grapefruit I can smell and I oh I love pink grapefruit that's yeah, just fruit you know food yeah love it <laughs> and that's what they look like they're a little pink heart. Let's have a try. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. There is a gorgeous sourness at first. I love sour sweets. Always have done. But the sourness doesn't stay too long. It's got a nice bite to it. I only detected very slightly the gummy centre. Um, it really is just a little bit, and that gumminess is is gone in a flash, for want of a want of a better phrase for it. But yeah, oh, that is that is so nice, yeah. That's another thing that I could just sit and eat. I mean, after a few, it'll probably get a bit sickly. But they're nice. They're they're just really, really lovely. I keep saying nice, don't I? I need um, I need more descriptives, don't I? But yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Tastes beautiful. Feels lovely in your mouth. And yeah. So. <laughs> That is the end of this month's um, box soup box. I'm showing you the stuff that's in it and tasting some of it. Uh, we've got 
some information in the back of the book here about what is Hanami. And it says it's an age-old celebration of beauty and life in Japan, but it wasn't always celebrated the way it is today. And then we've got a bit of a, a backstory about Hanami there and um, some info on its origins and from plum to cherry and the Edo period to today. So, but yeah. And then, let's say we've got the info about each of the goodies that come in this month's box, as always. We got a little message from Danny Tang, the founder. As I said, um, I think it was either the last Boxu box unboxing that I did, or it might be the one before that, I don't know, I can't remember. Um, they used to originally pop a postcard in each box, and that had that always had Danny's message on, but I guess putting it in the book saves a bit of paper. And so there you go. And we've got his little message here. And it says, Thank you for being a wonderful Boxu member. In celebration of Japan's Sakura cherry blossom season, we've curated this box full of seasonally limited treats, including our very own Sakura candy, made in partnership with 100 year old Kyoto candy maker Daimonji Amenhompo. I hope these hand-picked snacks and our limited edition Sakura box brighten your home with the beauty of the season. Yes, Danny. Yes, they do. They very much do. Thank you. So, yeah. Um, I've got a bit more info there about um, Sakura Spring. And that's it for this box. What we got on the back here? So this next month's haiku hint, how long has it been since we sent our first box and how many snacks? So it looks as though, what are we in now? We're in April, aren't we? The May one is going to be the birthday one. So that, that will be nice. If I remember last year, I think it was on the birthday one, there was um, a selection of some of the snacks that they'd put in previous boxes and uh, it was great so we'll see what next month's box holds anyway guys this this has gone on for long enough now it's nearly half an hour long you're probably going to be wanting something to eat or to go to bed if you're watching this late i'm sorry i've waffled on for so long but it's a great box anyway take care of yourselves look after each other Keep an eye on the weather. It's not always as nice as it might be at this time of year. We've had a little bit of snow over Easter. And just be careful out there. It's a weird world. I'll see you in the next unboxing. If you have any comments, just uh, leave them downstairs for me. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't, you can give me a thumbs down if you like. But if you do, just let me know why to give me scope to improve for the future. Okay, I'm going now. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.